Case number one was the male of 19 hours with a sacrococcygeal mass, and this was a sacrococcygeal teratoma. This tumour is composed predominantly of rather primitive cells, but you can see some recognisable immature cartilage here. Case number two was a cerebellar tumour in a female of two years, nine months. This was a pilocytic astrocytoma. An alternative name is a juvenile pilocytic astrocytoma, or JPA. The rod-shaped red structures are Rosenthal fibres. The third case was a female of one year two months with a mass in the right kidney. This was a nephroblastoma also known as a Wilms tumour. The diagnosis is quite easy because you can see the primitive kidney structures present. The fourth case was a male of three years with a tumour in the fourth ventricle. This was a medulloblastoma. Histologically, this tumour produces rather characteristic rosettes. The final case was a female of 2 years 11 months presenting with nephrotic syndrome. This was minimal change nephropathy or minimal change disease. As the name suggests the light microscopy is virtually normal. but on electron microscopy you can see the flattened podocytes.